Okay, just watching another high rated player game, Rapid. And let's just get into the groove of what's going on here. Dun, 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 knight. And is he looking to Fianchetto to develop the bishop? No, he's going in for the attack. He's going for here, looking to attack the queen. He's got his knight coming here. So distraction work. Well, he don't want his knight jumping there, he's stopping that. Fair enough. Oh, dancing with the queen. Yuck. They really do some unusual stuff. Uh, it's going to be bringing that. No, it's not. This late development of the king again is um, quite scary. This is probably why it's it's better that um, people learning to play chess, you know, for the first times, don't actually watch these types of games because uh, you see a lot of genuinely they are bad habits yeah and it's like forgetting the basics yeah so he, want, he wanted to go there he can't go there now this knight potentially going here to attack this pawn yeah just highlight yeah to attack this pawn here there's probably something they're thinking about all the while his king is still a bit airy yeah and if it all kicks off then his king is going to get trapped yeah so maybe queen up and then his queen side castling but then he's facing the kick rook that side so if it's bishop here then he castles there does he run into the wrath of this type of situation bishop taking the pawn Queen's nicely in this position here because if the pawn takes back, yeah, Queen's a little bit, King's a little bit airy. Queen can come a shoot across here. He's got his knight ready to jump here. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit nasty. But the opponent has to make the right moves, yeah. And like we say, he can still jump here with his knight looking to attack this pawn here, but it's a single attack, yeah. And now he's stopping the queen from potentially coming here, maybe to attack the pawn, the knight. Again, that's nothing too serious. That seems like one of those prophylactic moves. I want to see what you're going to do. I'll do something that stops you from potentially attacking a piece of mine, but realistically. If the queen did come there, what damage is it going to do? The queen's protecting here. Yeah. Pawn's protected there. So basically, black is just waiting to see what white does. He's not willing to really come out and do any sort of um, proper advantage, advancing movements. I might actually stop watching this one. So now... He's looking to attack the king side area, even though his own king has got only what one piece in front of it. So he's weakened his own pawn structure, um, White has, by doing that. But he's probably thinking, well, Black's not done any development or to be concerned about, which is rightly so. Yeah. So again, knight coming here attacking this pawn potentially as a case. Knight's then left there on its own, but then it can come back around again. So there whirlwind round so that's a small basic attack if anything uh, whose go is it so he's still not defended that pawn because he's not interested I suppose it why he's building his own defense and a sh shabby pawn push here oh, dear me okay so he's gone for that supporting the knight also trying to prevent the pawn from pushing down knight's gone back again doing another nugatory type piece of work um to say i'm not impressed with this game is um i think my tone is saying it all really so now black's pushing through onto the pawn here if the pawn takes knight can take back i suppose it's trying to make space up on the far side but i'm not i'm not really best pleased because the king's not castle king's not safe 
this rook is not linked up and this bishop is on the back here so that's not the best way to play this type of game I don't think and the reason why I am feeling this way about the game is because if I ever see myself playing like this I, I know that I need to rectify it as soon as possible yeah and these are higher rated players they're 2258 2255 take off the rose tinted glasses yeah and really look at the game for what it is yeah not the rating look at the game for what it is and in your ideal world would you realistically want to play like that that's what I'm saying to myself and they probably would clean the floor with me but I would probably give it a good go yeah and and give a half decent game fingers crossed okay so let's take these off here so he's, he's still not going for it because it's too late now because now the bishop is protecting that pawn for a moment bishop's gone now so eventually this pawn it looks like it's going to disappear took a long way around no it's not but now again it's really it's that same situation bishops here kings not castled or in a safe zone it looks happy it does what black yeah and it's only looking happy well knights attacking the rook now attacking the pawn but the bishop queen's attack them um, defending the pawn he could do a little thing here to be pressuring the queen that might be an idea sink oh for god bishops on the knight here on the rook oh i don't i wouldn't have wasted my time doing that though 22 22.58 oh my days check bishop i suppose Ooh. No, 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 no. Mm, does the rook come again? Yeah, check, check. Yeah, there we go. Rook again. Rook up. Well, it's gone and castled now. Yeah. So he has felt that confident that he had that time to be able to do that. I don't like his position. The position looks rubbish. Yeah. To me, I don't think that that is um, a, a very clever way of playing the game. That's putting a lot of onus on his queen here, protecting this pawn. Yeah, because the knight's ready to take it. Yeah, so now he's gone defending. So he could go up and down attacking the queen. He's obviously wanting his rook to attack here, but then it's a momentary check. Yeah, well he can he can do that or he can <clears throat> just bring it here now. Yep. But it's not a very nice position. Bishop coming here, but then obviously his rook can go there pinning the queen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not happy with this game. But I'll see it through to the end now. I might do so well no but it's too late to do anything astounding now and this knight's got protected by the queen bishops now well we, we said the bishop was coming here but um he, he does have that yeah which we did mention should have kept the arrows on he captures so if the rook comes back down and the queen takes So in essence he's got more pieces I suppose because he's got his rook there then he's attacking the knight. Knight could move out of the way. Uh, but White's resigned anyway because they made a tough move. That was not an impressive game at all. Let's have a look at the analysis board. I uh, don't really know why I'm looking at the analysis board because that was not a very good game. So we've taken all that off there, let's go. Right, uh, let's get the evaluation bar up. Okay, let's have a look at what Black's doing here. 
Oof. Dear. No. That is not. Oof. I'm so happy we're working on what we're trying to work on with the answer principle, the concept. Because all in all, this particular game looked like there was no real, what's the word, no real strategy going on. There was no real working together with the pieces. It was like a, a momentary, oh, let's see if we can grab this. Or, oh, let's see if we can grab that space. And, oh, let's see if, you know, so there was no build up of anything really. It was more a case of um, look, yeah. There was no positional play, it was luck. So that's why I wasn't impressed with it in that sense because nobody drove it and it was just unfortunate why it played well, why it played a duff move here whereby it was gonna lose out. But not too impressed.